1826. He said the year was 1826. And he didn't smile or say gotcha or reveal a hidden camera. My family didn't jump out from a hiding spot, pointing and laughing at the big hilarious prank. Lord Westbourne said the year was 1826 with 100% sincerity. And I didn't know what to do with that information. I kept going over and over it in my mind, each thought leading to something harder to imagine. I couldn't be in 1826. I couldn't be in France. I was at home. I was getting ready for school. It was the first day of my senior year. I was looking for my plaid button-down, and Kale was looking for his magic quarter. Amelia was waiting for me to pick her up, and Ben— Oh, God! My almost boyfriend Ben! I never gave him an answer last night, never said yes to his question. He'd walked me home and kissed me on my front porch and said he'd see me at school— The memory of it was so fresh, I could still feel his lips pressing warmly against mine. I glanced over at Jane. She looked as scared as I was. Lord Westbourne remained stoic. They were both waiting for me to say something, this stranger in their house, demanding to know what year it was. "'Take me back,' I said. "'You have to take me back to where you found me. I have to go back.' Mademoiselle Broly, please allow me. No. I stood directly in front of him and looked him in the eye. I don't know what's going on or how I got here, but I need to go home. Please take me back, now. Very well. Jane will help you dress and... Now! My tone was angry, but my bottom lip quivered. Several traitorous tears fell from my eyes. If only Amelia had been with me, she would have had this lord guy shaking in his tall black boots and offering us whatever we needed. Amelia was the nicest person you'd ever meet, but when she needed something to go her way, she usually got it. If she were with me, we'd already be halfway home. With snacks. Of course, he said, bowing low and stepping aside from the doorway. I brushed past him and walked barefoot out the door onto a small landing. The lace edges of the nightgown dragged along the cold stone floor. Lord Westbourne led me down a terrifyingly long stone spiral staircase, followed by an infinite maze of confusing hallways and stairwells. When we reached the front door, I charged ahead of him, eager to get where we were going. Outside it was... weird. The air was softer somehow cleaner, like smelling a dryer sheet meant to smell like fresh air. There was a cobblestone drive out front, and the pebbles were sharp and rough under my feet. It didn't slow me down. I had to go home, because I couldn't be in France. I couldn't be in the 1800s. No, I said out loud. Just no. My hands twisted in the long nightgown as I walked across the rough texture of the driveway, as fast as my bare feet would allow. Lord Westbourne's tall boots smacked against the cobblestones in a click-clack rhythm. It reminded me of the metronome on top of Mom's piano. We reached a narrow path that led down toward the water. Are we... Is this an island? Yes. Chateau du Lac is on Lac Bleu. Of course, I thought. Chateau du Lac, Castle of the Lake. Here we are, he said, when we reached the shore at the end of the road, as if here was somewhere to be. All I could see was water. Everywhere I looked, water.